acknowledging uh, the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to the elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. I'm connecting from Daruk land and if you have access to the chat, please put the um, uh, country code or the postcode um, that, uh, of the area you are connecting um, from in the chat of this meeting. Uh, as I said, Mahendra is from the Red Cross and Mahendra is manager in data science analytics at the Australian Red Cross. Uh, also welcome to our special guest, Michelle. Michelle, thanks for joining again. You've been with us on Tuesday and yesterday till I <laughs> in the evening. Uh, so Michelle, uh, what I like about what you're doing, you are a volunteer as the Australian Citizen Science Association and you have provided a guest lecture to our students uh, in week five and it was a great help for all the students who have been doing the citizen science projects. Um, also, I would like to welcome Professor uh, Professor Richard Buckland. Professor um, Buckland is the director. That's what I like about it. The first year student experience, and of course, you've been at UNSW for a while. When I looked at my profile, but what I was impressed, you have taught 10,000 students, and you like breaking things and push generation. And also a special welcome to uh, Professor Lumeria Carta. Um, uh, professor Carta is professor at the ISTM school and Professor Carta uh, has been the head of school for three years and she just stepped down. She wants to focus on the research. Um, professor Carta's research focus on e-government and she's a, a chair uh, uh, for the America's uh, conference on information system and the Huawei International Conference on information system. And uh, one of her research has been in one of the most cited papers on the topic. So special welcome to all our guests and another welcome to all our students. Um, I just would like, I would don't want to talk much about this, but that's for our student. Um, but quickly, we have gone through this last week, but we haven't met our target. Uh, we are at 70% response rate of our target, 80%. David wanted to bring it to 100. So David, keep going. Uh, so I'll just to reflect on what we have done for you um, since the beginning of the term. So there has been um, uh, feedback collected in week four, see what else we can do and to improve the course. And we have acted on this as a teaching team um, because we are um, working online with you. So that collaboration on Miro has been really great. And you can have used these uh, one for your por uh, portfolio project. So take advantage of this. Uh, the team project that we have done in collaboration with the Red Cross um, have been a real good project and you have been given the choice um, to select any of the topic you want within the two main projects. And there has been continuous consultation during the term where we have given you feedback about your progress, anything. And of course, you know, a huge number of guest lectures from week two and so on. So all what we need from you is five minutes to go through my experience and David, if you don't mind, just type the a link in the chat uh, and um, give us your thought about the course. Uh, just I will take the frame to share. These are my courses. I've hidden everything else. We are at 70%, as you can see, and we need to go up to 80. So if we can target this 80%, I'll be so grateful to everyone. OK, so for our guests, we have two projects. Uh, the first one is about enhancing the social awareness about First Nations people, diversified arts, culture and values. Uh, in this class, we have four groups, three groups chose this project one. In other classes, um, we have seven groups in each and there has been more um, um, about this project. Project two is about empowering the First Nation uh, people, and that's uh, the topics are about the climate change, the threatened language, and any other topic that students have done. And that's uh, these are citizen science projects. So as you can see here, and one more time, thanks uh, for Michelle for being so um, you know helpful uh, in week five with uh, our student talking to them about guest lecture and also being uh, giving them feedback all this week about uh, uh, guest lectures, uh, about, sorry, about citizen science. So um, let's go to the presentations. We have four groups to present. I'll stop sharing this. What we do, we'll play a video that 
our students have recorded and that's three minutes video then we'll open the floor for questions and answers um, before i do this um, um Richard and Lumeria, if you'd like to say something to our student Lumeria, probably you all know Lumeria, um, uh, our head of school or previous head of school. Um, if you'd like to say anything, uh, please. Uh, we've got time. Uh, we have two hours, but we don't need uh, the two hours. It's a small class with four projects only. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Lumeria Carter, former head of school for information systems, current professor. I'm looking forward to the presentations. Good luck to everyone and excited to see what you've done. Cheers. Thank you, Thank you Lumeria. Thanks, Lumeria. Um, yeah, Ron, I really appreciate you um, allowing an outsider to come into your uh, class. Um, thank you very much. I've heard so many great things about you uh, oh, from you. George, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've done. And well done on all the effort you've done. Um, yeah, we're very proud of you. So. All right. Good, thanks. So I'll start sharing. Give me one minute.